Hi, welcome to Academies Australasia. We are now going to go through some information as part of your orientation. Academies Australasia group is a group of colleges. We have 18 colleges in both in Australia and internationally. We have colleges in Sydney, Melbourne, Adelaide, Brisbane, Gold Coast, Perth and Singapore. If you would like to transfer between colleges, doing so can be done quite easily. If you do need more information, please see Student Services. Our main campus is in Sydney and we have two campuses in Sydney. One is on George Street and the other one is on Kent Street. Please refer to the map for more information about the locations um, in Sydney. On campus you will find an abundant supply of computer labs with printers, um, scanners and copiers. You will also have internet access that you can enjoy while on campus. Um, and our campuses are fitted out with CCTV cameras for your security. This is our website. You, you may find more information on the website about your courses and about your college. Our website address is www.academies.edu.au. You will find more information about your timetable and forms, um, any emails that, that you are looking for um, in regards to the college. You can also access your paradigm and e-learning portal um, and you can find more information about university pathways. This is our Facebook page please like our page. We, we, do, we do send information um, through our page to our staff and our community um, and it is important information as well as interesting activities or information for our students as well. When you are a student at Academies Australasia you will have access to Paradigm and e-learning through your, your Academies Australasia email. Your Academies Australasia e email is made up of your student number at studentmail.academies.edu.au. With this email, you'll be able to access Paradigm, which is a system that has all of your information, and e-learning, which will have all of the information for your class and your assessments and your online courses. Please keep this email address in a, in a place where you can remember it because you will use this every day. This is the Paradigm Access page. You will need your email and your password. Um, with your email, you'll also be able to log into your e-learning page, which is where you'll find all of your classwork and your assessment work. And this is how you'll be able to log into your Academies Australasia email through Google. Being a student, you will have access to overseas student health insurance. It covers you from the date of your arrival um, and it covers you for doctors, hospital, ambulance and prescribed medicine. If you're with BUPA, you can collect this from the school. If you have insurance with any other company, you can speak with your agent and your agent will be able to provide your health care card to you once you have arrived in Australia. Academies Australasia also offers a free student support service. This is a, a support service for students that, that relates to non-academic concerns or issues. If you have any issues regarding living or studying in Australia or have any personal personal issues or, or work issues, you can contact UWI by arranging an appointment with um, student services at George Street campus and, and you will be, will be able to give you some more information on what you can do. Academies Australasia also offers um, free services on Friday and they are English remedial classes and IELTS practice tests. The English remedial class can help you with any additional English language practice you would like to, to do. 
Um, and also if you would like to create a resume or a curriculum vitae, you can also ask the teacher for advice. The IELTS practice test is every second Friday and the f English remedial classes are every Friday. The times are from 9.30 to 12.30. To you will need to arrange an appointment um, at student services for to book in your time. Administrative matters. So if you change your phone number, your email address, your your postal address, your visa status, or your emergency contact details, please inform the school within seven days. As being a student, you will be able to receive a certificate and a transcript at the end of the course. Um, you will need a USI to obtain a certificate or qualification. We will talk about that a little later. Student handbook, telephone numbers and contact details. There is a list in the student handbook of important contact information um, throughout of different people within the school. Um, please refer to your handbook if you would like to speak with someone from the school. Um, you will also have a link which will have more information for you and it's the student information pack which has in it, the information, the maps of the school, um, and various information that will help you, and you can refer back to this information pack throughout your studies. The unique student identifier, the USI, you will need to set up a USI, and you cannot get a certificate or qualification without the USI. To, to to get a USI, please go to this web address, www.usi.gov.au, and create your USI, follow the instructions. Once you receive your USI, go to academies.edu.au and click on Submit USI, and just follow the instructions to submit your USI into Academies Australasia. As a student, you will also be required to um, obtain a student ID card. Uh, please supply a passport size photo or please come on campus and take a photo and your card you will receive an email once your card is ready. You must also buy a copy card from student services um, to print information on college copiers and printers. You may purchase this at student services on George Street. Please remember your important dates. Um, change of course application, credit transfer application, end of term and start of term. Please take note of these dates. Changing courses. Changing courses is possible. You need to complete the application to change course form, outlining the reasons for this change. You must also pay the change of course fee of $150. Applications to be submitted to student services by Friday 10. If you have completed subjects from another institution or can demonstrate that you have equivalent current competencies, you may apply for recognition of prior learning or recognition of current competencies or credit transfer. Um, for more information on that, please refer to the student handbook. Remember, applications must be submitted to student services by Friday 10. Exemptions may lead to the shortening of your course. It does not affect Department of Home Affairs um, requirements that overseas students on a student visa must undertake a full-time study workload of 20 contact hours per week. It does not lead to a reduction of fees. Um, students who wish to apply for RPL may do so by paying an RPL fee per competency. This fee does not apply to credit transfer. Students must undertake a full-time study workload of 20 contact hours per week. Student attendance is recorded for each subject. You must enrol in their subjects in paradigm. Absences must be supported by proper documentation like a medical certificate. Assessments must be set out in acceptable format. Your own work, except in group projects, copied on completion and copies stored securely must be submitted on time. Plagiarism. Please be aware of copyright laws and please include references. Penalties will apply for plagiarism. 
There is no cheating in exams or copying assessments. Failure to attempt an assessment. Um, alternative test or assessment could be arranged for special cases such as illness. Reassessments. If you fail an assessment, you may be allowed to reassess that assessment for an additional fee. If you're unhappy with a grade, you must lodge your appeal within two weeks. Course progress. The academic year is divided into two semesters with two nine-week terms in each semester. Academic progress is monitored and assessed throughout each subject in every term. You must access your results by the beginning of the next term from Paradigm. You must complete all subjects. The college must report students who failed to meet the requirements for satisfactory course progress. Warning letters are issued every term. Contact course coordinator or student advisor in these cases um, and you will have 20 working days to, to appeal if you do receive an intention to report notice. If you do not see your course coordinator or student advisor, you may, it may lead to you receiving an intention to report notice, whereby you will then have 20 days to, to lodge an appeal. Deferring or suspending student enrollment. You may al be allowed to defer or temporarily suspend your studies for compassionate or compelling circumstances only. This is a leave of absence. And to apply for a leave of, that, of absence, you must apply two weeks in advance where possible and also uh, submit sub any supporting documentation along with your application. If you do need more information on a leave of absence, please see Student Services for more information. Terminating, suspending or cancelling student enrolment. The college reserves the right to terminate, suspend or cancel your enrolment for misbehaviour. Um, you have 20 days to access the appeal process thereafter. Um, if you are unhappy about a decision or action taken by the college or lecturer, um, please firstly raise the matter with the lecturer or your trainer. If you are not satisfied or the matter is more serious, fill a complaint form and resolve the matter with the course coordinator. You will get a result within 10 days. If you are not satisfied, you may refer the problem to the executive director. You will be notified of the outcome of the appeal within 10 working days. If you feel the problem cannot be resolved within the college, um, you may also appeal uh, with the overseas student ombudsman. See the student handbook for more information. Um, students, um, student rights, you, you do have rights to have courteous, fair and respectful personal treatment, um, confidential treatment of your private information and advice on anything that, that you, you, you need while you're studying at Academies Australasia. Um, your responsibilities as a, as a student is to be aware of emergency procedures and emergency exits while on campus, have your valid student ID card while on, on college premises, treat other staff and students with courtesy and respect, um, be punctual and regular in attendance, comply with assessment procedures and do not cheat, and inform the college if you change your personal details. Um, you must also obtain textbooks as required by teachers, um, buy a copy card um, if you wish to print or copy information, and please pay your fees on time, um, and also enrol into your scheduled subjects on the um, paradigm by the second week of the term, and access regularly your Academies Australasia student email account. There is no smoking in the college buildings. Uh, no eating or drinking in the classrooms um, or, or be under the influence of alcohol or, drunk or, or drugs on the college premises. Um, you're not allowed to use computers or Wi-Fi to send, search for or download anything which could offend, embarrass or threaten others. Um, fees are payable in advance. The due date is calculated from the course start date. You will receive reminders and um, SMSs to, to, of upcoming payments. If you do have any questions or, or any 
issues regarding this, please um, speak to student services. At least one full term's notice in writing is required of any intention to withdraw from a course. Withdrawing appointment can be arranged with student services officer Yui um, to and you must complete the application for withdrawal of course form. Fees are payable in advance. The due date is calculated from the course start date and you will receive email and SMS reminders um, of when your payments are due. If you do have any questions or concerns, please speak with student services um, at reception. Refund policy. At least one full terms notice in writing is required for any intention to withdraw from a course. Um, you, you will need to make a withdrawal appointment um, with UWE, our Student Support Services Officer, and you, you may make an appointment with her at Student Services, um, and you, you will also be required to fill in some forms um, f for this refund um, process. There are no refunds after commencement of course, and there are no refunds for student default. So there are, this means if you breach um, your student visa requirements or you have failed to commence the course or for misbehaviour, there are no refunds for these reasons. For more information on this, please refer to the student handbook. Um, as a student, um, you are um, permitted to work 40 hours per fortnight, and that's 20 hours per week. Please manage your time so as there is no crossover, you can still attend your classes while um, completing your work. Visa cancellation. So, in the case of um, in the case of being reported or being or receiving an intention to report, um, the the school will report you if your attendance is unsatisfactory or your course progress is unsatisfactory and then the department of home affairs will review your case um, and review whether to cancel your visa or not the, the the college has the right and and will uh, send you an intention to report but visa cancellation is done by the Department of Home Affairs. Our, the college reporting process remains the same. Um, we do have a privacy policy. Um, refer to pages 26 and 28 of the student handbook if you have any questions or, or, or want more information about how your privacy is managed, please refer to the student handbook and if you have any questions, please see student services. Um, there are also um, some laws um, that students should know. These are the Anti-Discrimination Act, Sexual Harassment Act, Copyright Act and Privacy Act. There is more information in the student handbook from pages 31 to 32. Um, and there's also um, more information on the International Students Consumer Guide um, and this is to help you and give you some more support um, in Australia while you're studying um, and you can also refer to your student, student handbook for more information. The safety information in Australia for police, fire and ambulance is um, 000 and 000 and this is for emergencies only. Um, please be aware of the emergency exits in your building. And you can also um, refer to social media, um, the police force and emergency services also are on social media. You can connect and, and, and remain connected for more information. Um, important numbers that you should remember on campus um, for any emergency, please contact Senior Manager of Student Services, Prasad Menon, um, and his contact details are listed in the Student Handbook, um, as well as some other important numbers and contact details on pages 33 to 34. A new coronavirus known to cause respiratory infections is most likely to spread from person to person 
through contact with the person while they are infectious, um, usually 48 hours before their symptoms have appeared, um, or close contact with the person with a confirmed infection who coughs or sneezes, touching objects or surfaces such as door handles or tables that are contaminated from a cough or sneeze from a person with a confirmed infection, and then touching your mouth or face. So it's very important to keep yourself safe. Um, try and avoid touching your face, your mouth, your nose, um, and touching many surfaces, um, and then touching your face. The symptoms of COVID-19 are similar to other colds and flus, including fever, sore throat, cough, tiredness, and difficulty breathing. Um, ways to protect yourself and others while you're on campus and at school is one, maintain physical distance. So keep a distance between you and your classmates and teachers and staff approximately 1.5 meters um, apart. Two, practice good hygiene. This means if you're coughing or sneezing, make sure you cough into your elbow or into a tissue. Um, throwing that tissue in the garbage bin, washing your hands with soap and water. Um, and number three, if you are sick or you're not feeling well, please stay home and do not come to school or on campus. Stay home if I'm well. If you are not well or sick with flu or cold symptoms, please do not come to school or to campus and stay home and self-isolate. Self if you are at home and having serious symptoms, you should call triple zero straight away. This includes shortness of breath, difficulty breathing, or any chest pain. When the ambulance arrives, please tell the ambulance you have COVID-19 symptoms. If you experience COVID-19 symptoms while at school, please inform your teacher immediately or call the Prasad Menon on 0420 524 505. What is isolation? Isolation means you must not leave your home except in an emergency or to get essential medical care. You must not go into public places including work and shops. You must not let any other person in your home unless the person lives with you and cannot live somewhere else, is providing medical care for you and is entering for an emergency. Thank you very much. Enjoy your studies.